Okay. So, so you need gonna... a marker, a face onto something. Yeah. Well. There's... And find a box. Ah, uh, here we go. Plant. Plastic take plant. so many useless things, idiot. We are MacGyvering the shit out of this. Shut up. Kitchen door can only be opened from the kitchen. This place sucks. Okay, plastic plant. You'd think this particular plastic plant was perfect, if not for the garish pot it was attached to. You have an unusual hatred for clay pots of every size, shape, and color. <laughs> huh. You don't like clay pots. Huh. I want to read the menu for a second. Four dollars for a burger. Combo. Oh, it's a combo four dollars. Okay. Steak. Wow, this is a really reasonable menu, honestly. Soda. Pasta. I'm really disappointed they didn't have something, like, all of the prices were stupid expensive. What I'm wondering is why there's just, like, spices and everything just strewn about. Were people or things just consuming stuff down here without any care as to cleaning it up? Oh, I mean, Bob. Well, yeah. So... Okay, let's see. Extremely lazy. Giving up on the corn's ability to be weaponized on any level, the scientists attempted to see if they could be of any use in the general workplace. They weren't, opting to take naps instead. However, the corn did display a fondness for stacking orange boxes, which they did so every chance they could. The goal of which seemed to be directing the researchers to do what they wanted. Another rock. Ooh, and another Rocky one. rock. Now this is a rock that knows its place in the world, unquestioning, unwavering, happy, and basking in its complete and utter rockiness. You named it Shelby. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's a giant scaffolding for a an giant... even larger statue. And hey. Okay. Box. And sturdy the... box. This is absolutely positively the sturdiest box you will ever find, except for the ones you see immediately after you pick up this one. You now have what is known as Boxer's Remorse. <laughs> and the smaller Ted statue. So, Bob, what do you think of this? See what you have driven me to? Jerk. Cordially, Ted. Oh, so did he commission one yeah, for himself? Yeah, so Ted started this and then Bob made a bigger one. Hiya, Ted! This is really great! Excited to see you get into the spirit of things. Added one, added one of mine so we could be side by side. Really think it balances the space well. <laughs> oh. uh, and there's more corn just standing. Didn't notice them there. I didn't. Ah. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's keep going this way for the time being. Living quarters. This would be Bob's room. Yeah. Alright, well, I can put the plastic plant here. Jesus Christ. Oh, he just put his face on a ton of famous pieces of art? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a paper on the floor. Oh, yeah, so there is. An invoice, again. Bought For a large in... amount of sta statues. <laughs> Bought in bulk and commissioned in a variety of materials, Bob seems to have ordered more statues than can possibly be fit inside the facility. Due to this, a uh, statue storage fee is also included. He did, indeed, get a discount, but the cost is so outlandish in the first place that the missing zero is barely noticeable. Uh, Let's see. This is just wasteful. Capuchin treats? What? It's, you know, Capuchin monkey. Is it, like, banana flavored? Bob mistakenly thought that Capuchin was another word for delicacy and ordered thousands of boxes to snack on. When he was told that the snacks were, in fact, for monkeys, he ate them anyway. <laughs> a navigational chart. It's a small navigational chart of the Pacific Ocean with a very peculiar course plotted from the United States to an island in the middle of the ocean. The course has more in common with the movement of a small fly than any nautical vessel. Is apparently part of Operation Subaquanium Avadery, but owing Avadir. to your poor understanding of all languages, you mistakenly think that it's a chain restaurant specializing in Italian cuisine. Interesting that Ted wrote fine. 
Operation Sub... Yeah, so it's... They're... So the two of them hop in a sub and go for a Pacific Island, I guess. You but also they... have another, another Batari. What's the game? Something universe. Mm. Mm-hmm. Is it like Turok? Some... Prince Prince Universe. Oh, okay. I think. I could be wrong. Anyway. Ooh. Pruning shears. Trimmed plastic plant. It's much nicer now. By freeing this plastic plant from its potted prison, you managed to trigger a dramatic series of events that led you to obtain a trimmed plastic plant. These events included reaching out to grab the trimmed plastic plant, picking up the trimmed plastic plant with your right hand, and wondering why did you do why you did all this in the first place. Okay. And we have a journal written entirely in red pen. It isn't so much a journal as it is a mindscape with occasional pictures. Massive, ambitious plans are written down and abandoned midway through the inception, and sometimes mid sentence. So he is ADHD or something. I don't know. Just too many thoughts. What? Is, does he have a cat? Apparently. So we're still missing something. I know I'm like that with my notebooks. I I create a lot of notes for story ideas, and then it's a pain going through and trying to put them all back in order. Like you know how you have an idea for scenes, or events, or lore, and then you have to organize it all again. Yeah. It's a pain. Okay. Okay. So now that you took the plant out of its pot. How are you supposed are you supposed to put it in something else? No, no, no. We float it there with mystical magical video game abilities. Okay. And then we go looking we need Ooh, to find something down. around. Yeah, there this desk has a lot of notes on it, by the way. What's this? It's like a little trolley. Coffee trolley out of coffee. Oh, it needs the coffee machine. I remember? That's not something I can interact with. Here we go. Medicine ball. Oh, but I thought you'd picked up the coffee machine. I did, but it's a folio item, which we will never use. Hmm. I know. You could have taken a much lighter ball for this particular task, but that would require a grasp of logic that you don't really have. Okay, let me look around. So this is just this weird... A ba another bathroom-y area? What is this place? Okay, master plan. Okay, we have... Oh, is this the plan to murder <laughs> Fernando? Look at it. it! Appears to be the only thing Fernando, the founder's assistant, put any effort into aside from shredding important documents and wearing fancy fedoras and gloves. It's a very poor plan involving jumper cables, a strange lightning, lightning rod, and somehow turning into an all-powerful god. Notes read that the stupid corn told me their secret, and Bob and Ted will be my assistants now. Wait, so the corn convinced him that by being electrocuted, they became powerful? I guess so, yes. Stupid. Oh, interesting. So Stupid. Bob's actually really short. And Ted is comparatively quite tall. But yes, he's going to uh, electrocute him himself effectively and become all-powerful. All What's bizarre, though, is... That's the same... It's the same speech pattern that... Uh that the monstrous corn uses. Oh, interesting. And he's the one scribbling and drawing things on the boards. Huh. I don't think it's necessarily Fernando became corn or something, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, the assistant. The one second assistant. A per peculiar book on how to be an assistant in the workplace, whose end appears to be to do as little work as possible. Chapters include How to Shred Everything, an intro into hiding in the office, and shifting the blame to the intern. Oh, so this is just his This room. is Fernando's workroom. Which is, has a glass ceiling and... Rocks on it and stuff. And is nothing. Oh, I wow. can't imagine having a toilet there. Daily Planner. Okay, 1988. The final page consists of six appointments. 9 a.m., do nothing. 11 a.m., pick up new fedora and glove. Noon. 
torture stupid corn for amusement, three, hide to avoid work, and 5.45, torture corn, 6 p.m., initiate master plan. Okay. Hiya, Fernando! Could you be a pal and place the tour brochures across the facility? There's only a few hundred, so you'll be able to do that no time flat. Fernando, you cretin. Ignore the idiot Bob's request. What you really need to do is sort the samples in the genetics lab from at least from least reactive to most. So go do it! Cordially, Ted. Hey, you Fernando! Got a more important job for you than that. Need the statue directly above you moved about an inch or so. Scaffolding's already set up, so you'll finish in about an hour or so. Thanks! Fernando, you lazy oaf! Don't touch that statue. We don't need yet another insurance claim. Instead, go to the second floor of the barn and observe the corn's behavior in their habitat for several days. Cordially, Ted. And don't move a muscle. That'll throw the data off. Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Fernando! Don't worry about that observation stuff. The corn will take their own notes. Really need you to hang about a few dozen new paint paintings that just came in. Be a pal and set that up, would you please? Thanks, Bob. Fernando, you twit, don't lift a finger for those paintings. Instead, use this pen draft a letter for me. Dear Bob, you are a nitwit and an idiot. Cordially, Ted. Cordially, Ted. Well, originally <laughs> I thought Ted was just an actual scientist burdened with a nitwit. Turns out, no, they're both idiots. Uh huh. Oh, oh right. the... we've got to we've got to go draw a face on the ball with the red marker. Well, you also need to, yeah. <laughs> the worst face in the world. It appears you took drawing lessons from a leather couch. <laughs> Did you ever do that? Do what? Uh, like drawing uh couches with that like kind of leathery microfiber, or whatever. Oh no, never would I do that. Oh, I would do that all the time. It was great. Oh, oh, you mean it, it the suede stuff. Yeah, and you yeah. Would, yes, of course I have. Okay. Scanning. Okay. Ooh, so this is Ted's place. That does not sound good. Uh-oh. Aha! I finally found you! You've fallen into my clutches, just like all the others. I must say, I'm quite disappointed. I thought you were more clever, more interesting. But no matter. Now... Your suffering will be so incomprehensible that your small mind will stupid break! Stupid plant, why is your face like that? But... what is that? Your stupid face is very bad. Dumb plant. Is that on purpose? <laughs> Shut up, you mean... furry stupid! How dare you! I am the pinnacle of my race! You will pay for this insult, let me just... Ow! What's up, boy? Oh, give me some new chicka in your easy law! Chief! If biting is cheating, I win by default. Ha 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 ha! Your plans have been foiled by my plans, which are better than yours, you dummy! Ha 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 ha! Uh. And I am most certainly not retreating. Ha 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 ha! You know, this place is filled with idiots. That's a really nice floor. So that texturing. happens. Yeah, it is. I have to say, I like, uh... Okay, so Okay, I'm not exactly keen of the weird geisha. geisha. The bus. But, I mean, the bus is cool. Well, torso. Unicorn! Anyway, jar of Ranka. A cheap knockoff brand... Uh, knockoff of a well-known decaf coffee brand. Mm. Ranka is unique in that it doesn't taste like coffee whatsoever. Instead, the makers went for the taste and texture of an old boot. It's the only thing that the facility's coffee trolley delivers. <laughs> And unicorn candle holder. This is a candle holder carving of Dave. The legendary unicorn brought to life by a hungover demigod. <laughs> this magical creature possessed near infinite foresight and complete lack of spatial awareness. It fell to its death immediately after it was created. Oh, also you only have 43 of 75 of these? Well, they, they seem to be increasing the number of folio items we're getting very rapidly. An old newspaper article? Local teen wins big science award. Oh, 
Wait, is that them when they're kids? I guess so, yes. It's an old newspaper clipping that shows a very young Bob and Ted winning a science award for an artificial intelligence prototype. Judging by their demeanor, their partnership hasn't changed much since then. The article notably pra praises the display's slick presentation, spearheaded by Bob and completely ignores the sciencey parts, which Ted did on his own. Ah, poor, poor Ted. Can't be controlled too much, much, wait, much too British? Yeah. A lab report outlining further tests on the facility's breakthrough test subject, the famed female Ruby Queen Corn. Much more concerning than the last one as it uses phrases like can't be controlled, the corn follow her, and much too British. Recommends sequestering subject as soon as possible until further noticed. Well, she did have a British accent. Written entirely in blue pen, in perfectly sized paragraphs, is the most depressing diary known to man. Highlights include many thoughts on optimal sock organization, regrets on his partnership with Bob, and sadness that his own project, an experimental AI program, couldn't get funded. Uh, so they were like scientist partners and Bob was utterly stupid but got funding from the government for corn? Yeah. And well, I, I was reading a description of the game and apparently they misinterpreted the the funding thing. So hopefully we find out about that later. Anyway, this door does not seem to open, so I guess we go back. Well, luckily we know what to do. Yep. Coffee. It's weird. We really do not have much I am to go glad on that here. we had Vlad with us for that encounter. I guess. Follow the coffee trolley, follow the coffee trolley. Huh. I will admit, I wasn't expecting I'd be able to follow it. But here we go. The other side of the kitchen, and there's Step the footstool. Ladder. Yep. Okay, nothing else there. Trash bag. Ew. Maybe it was the smell, maybe it was the way the light caught the plastic, but something about this particular garbage-filled bag caught your eye and never let go. You will carry it with you always. Collecting all of this garbage will not make you less stupid, idiot. You solve these problems, Professor Poppycorn. That's great. <laughs> Bob was so enamored with this popcorn brand and its mascot that he framed a number of his favorite advertisements and placed them all over the facility. They were removed immediately by the staff. Bob, I don't care how much you love this third-rate popcorn. Stop framing ads and hanging them here. It's stupid. Cordially, Ted. Okay, do you have anything else to interact with here? Ah, here we go. Hiya, Ted! Just to let uh, just to let you know, I spilled soda on some of your things and put them here to dry out. Nothing serious, just some old moldy photos and papers in your important pile. Sorry, Bob. Bob, I hate you so much. Cordially, Ted. Well, we have no idea what he did with them beyond that. Uh, Jesus Christ, this uh, place glue? is horrifying. Craft glue. He can fix the door back to level one. He won't like it, but he'll do it. You figure this glue may come in useful at some point. Once you finally manage to unstick your head from your shoulder. <laughs> okay. So we got this door open. We got everything else in here. Yep, looks like what it. What was that to the right? Oh, was it just the post-it note, or...? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, those. I'm pretty thorough about noticing these things. Okay. The door back to level one. Oh, I see. So probably this door. Why does Bloody have to fixing everything? When is it idiot's turn? Vladdy not even sure what to fix. Is Vladdy supposed to hit stoop? Stupid American garbage built by idiots. <laughs> well, uh, let's see. We've well, got. Well, you needed the footstool for the ladder in that one section. Do you remember? Oh yeah. Okay. Just trying to remember how to get there. Uh, okay, I know. It was definitely back 
Yeah, I just the more I the more I play this game, the more like my my head melts. Because <laughs> um, of all the warping going on. Well, yeah. Um, it was in a grungy area, like a. Yeah, it's this way. No, it wasn't. It was. Are you sure it wasn't down that back corridor? Um. Not in here. It's in here. That's the grotto again. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember. How did we get underground again? It like was back in... down the hall. This way? Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay. Yeah, I. the more we play this, the more the, uh, the motion blur. Mm -hmm. Which isn't as bad as it was, but still, like, the more that gets to me and is... It was worse when there was to... bloom around the corn and everything. It, it was worse when we were outside, but it is it is definitely getting me to the point where I'm just like, and like I really really don't like it when games don't have that. Also, the occasionally there's like tearing around the corners. Yeah. When I turn, like you can you can even see it like stuff's glitching in and out of existence. To, uh, this game is probably pretty poorly optimized. So what they do instead, um, oh. <laughs> uh, what they do instead... Ooh, you're outside again. What they do instead is they have everything blip in and out of existence as you go along. Yeah, oh, why is it so much worse outside? Because of the light. Uh... Oh, hey. Do you need, you need something for it, apparently. Yeah. Oh, wait, you couldn't use the pipe or something on it? Oh, you only have those items? Yeah, I don't have much. Oh, the right other now. thing was a folio piece. We'll get more later, I think. Oh, wow. Bloody well, blood, you cannot smell. It would be worse than garbage here. That's the, Please do uh, not work within 50 miles with a protective wear. <laughs> so this is the chemical runoff pool. Great, great. Anything around here we can use? Yes. A rock. Oh, another rock. You're not really sure if this particular rock is a rock at all, or simply a very cleverly colored sponge. You've named it Jarvis. <laughs> okay. Ooh, life ring. You like the exotic red and white pattern on this interesting item. Which is why you picked it up. It never occurs to you that you might be able to use it to float on water because you just wear it like a bracelet. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the rest of this area is kind of pointless. Okay. So this is just a, a flavor area. Well, aren't you going to continue off to the right? I was just going to make sure. Yeah. Or is it boxed? It's... This needs some repairs! Yes, it can't do that thing it does anymore. What does it do again? Goes places! All right, yes, I remember. So you're gonna have to find you're a way around. You're gonna have to come back, yeah. Well, there was another path to the right, wasn't there? Yeah, back this direction. If I remember right, we can... Yeah, there you go. Whenever it lags, it gets worse. Okay, hello. Oh, some kind of greenhouse. Looks like it. Uh, can I get around it? Oh yeah, you can. Oh, but you need to go around the other side. It doesn't seem like there's much of a point. I don't know if there's a back entrance though. All right, so you get a fuel jug. Looks like the fuel for the tractor nearby. Being the skeptic that you are, you took several gulps of the liquid inside to confirm your theory on what it was, and you were right. rusty wheel. In a quiet moment, you will take this rusty wheel and roll it along the ground, wondering what its purpose could be. Afterwards, you will forget you have it. That's Someone a horseshoe. Was playing horseshoe, yeah. yeah. Okay. The men living here look very bored. So, pizza, pizza everywhere. And cigarettes. Oh, it's the security guy. One of many reports written by the lone soldier charged with keeping the facility safe. After reading this, it seems that wasn't a problem. 
Most entry logs are variations of the phrase, nothing to report, also contains a running count of crossword puzzles solved, which numbers the tens of thousands. Yep. And it looks like he created a huge cup of... More tower. stupid garbage, <laughs> idiot. This wrench is something that you could use to get rid of the chemical liquid that, d that fills the pool. Here's a hint. It doesn't involve throwing it in the pool itself. Oh, well, the pump thing. Yep, pizza right. flyer. A flyer for a local pizza restaurant that looks like it was frequented often by facility staff. Includes a special for their signature, quintuple cheese pizza, which it offers to customers for free if they can finish it in 20 minutes or less without suffering a massive heart attack. <laughs> well... No, do they mean in, in? So they have to be able to eat the whole pizza in twenty minutes or less without succumbing to a heart attack. I mean, okay. a lot of people could. You're not going to get a heart attack There's... until like, probably a couple years down the line when all that cheese adds up in your. It was arteries. mostly the question of like, I mean, if you finish it in like say ten minutes, but you get the heart attack, do they still give it to you for free, or do they send oh, the bill no. to the hospital? No, you get sent to the hospital. Chair. You carry this as a reminder to stop every once in a while to sit clearly in your mind and ponder on the meaning of all things. You will never do this, not once, in the course of your adventure. Instead, everyone else will wonder why you are wearing a chair as a hat. <laughs> I okay. really want to see what, what we, we look are. like at the very end of this. Like, we're, we have... We have... A chair, a rusty wheel, which can't be that small. Tons of rocks. A life, life pre preserver as a bracelet. A, like, at least five rocks. A garbage bag. Tons a, of paper. A, a unicorn candle thing. Some books. A map. Rocks. No books. A water pipe. A coffee maker. A big old telescope. Uh, a fedora. A block. A five pound weight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just... I, I want I'm imagining it and I'm just it's like hammer space. I no, I don't want it to be hammer space though. I want it I want us to eventually like get to the point where where we see our character and we're just this like weird creature. Just covered in junk. Okay. Alright. We use the wrench. To drain the chemical runoff pool, the smell remains. Okay, but what's in the pool? Better not be a corpse or something. Oh, looks pretty empty to me. But there's maybe a way into Upstairs. something. Those are the lights. That's the dra- oh, a key! Toolbox key. But what okay. other toolbox is there? Maybe the boxes have moved? Yeah. Oh, that they have. You have gasoline. Of junk. Tractor is somewhat prepped. Needs an another item to be fully ready. Uh, let's try going further a little bit more. I bet maybe there's something in the f in the uh, the barn that we never found. Anyway, tea party in progress. Do, Do not, not disturb. disturb. Interesting. Okay, wasn't there a toolbox in the back here that we couldn't open up? Um, maybe upstairs. Yeah. Maybe it's elsewhere. I don't remember there being a toolbox. Otherwise, it would be in the main house. Was there one upstairs in the attic? Uh. I mean, unless it's gl glue or the broken thing. I don't know. I'm kind of lost. Let's just go around for a second. I would have said the wheel, but you can't use the wheel. It's in your folio. Yeah. The muffin. Ugh. No. Okay, now I'm really lost. How do we get back? It's around the corner. Okay, it was through here. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna make sure I've clicked on that, uh, that tractor with everything we've got. Okay. Just in case. about that chained on. Okay, so yeah, let's let's go 
Let's go check the silo next. I guess that's my best, uh, our best option. Yeah, the silo, was there a chicken coop or, no, nah, the chicken coop didn't have anything. I there. mean, there's the main house, but. Well, we can't, we can't get to that right now. Okay, the answer is there's nothing in here. Okay, I guess we'll head for the, uh, the electric, uh, for Fernando. Um, See if there's... Oh, there was an area beyond where Fernando was that was blocked off, wasn't there? Uh, what but it's... This stupid thing? It's very important still is? is. And that man appears to be no, dead. Not at all. Rather sickly in appearance. Has he eaten anything in the past year? I don't think so. Do you think he has the bumps? Very likely. It might have something to do with all that lightning that coursed through his body. And that he was possibly told he would get godlike powers if he was connected to that machine. Quality work on that, by the way. Thank you. Oh, they did it. I really hated that man. Oh, yes, very much. Good riddance. I mean, he did torture them. Ah, here we go. The toolbox. Why does Vladdy have to carry stupid bag when you take all this stupid garbage? Hey, WT-40? Oh, that's gonna... Yeah. Get, lubricate it. Yep. So they can, uh, they convinced Fernando to kill himself. Uh, interesting point, they said he hasn't moved for the past year, or eaten anything for the past year. So... So has this all place this been abandoned down for a about year? one year? Yeah. Tractor is ready to go. Yes, of course. Vladdy should drive this stupid thing. Makes most sense. Large chance for pain and suffering. Idiot. What's a boy, stupid idiot? Vladdy do everything. Always Vladdy. Hey, how does Vladdy start this stupid thing? Like this? Oh. Okay, stupid thing. Ooh, it's not so bad. <laughs> it's gonna plow. Go, stupid um. thing, go! Ha <laughs> this is good, ah, uh, this is... Uh-oh. I cheat on your missile off. Everything under control! Why <laughs> looks <laughs> 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 it wrong? Stupid oh, thing! No. Go that way! Go that way! Huh. So that's what it does. Well, that didn't go well. No. Not at all. 